Hi Cancer, welcome to your August forecast. Alright, let's take a look. There's an earth sign. If you're not yet friends with this person, probably a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus that will be approaching you. Okay. But I feel like you will be walking away with this person knowing that they might be up to something that's no good. Um, if you're already in friends with this person, this person might be approaching you for probably for help or something like that. But you're going to be turning it down. Because you're going to start thinking that they might know something or you're going to start being so paranoid because could be because of the friends that are connecting you or it could be because of the people that you mutually know. But the thing here is this person is actually genuinely needed your help, okay, or will be asking for your help. Whatever um, other people have been planning or doing something against you, they have nothing to do with that. So please be very careful in turning this person down. Um, and you're also going to be very disappointed with how you're going to be probably coming up with an excuse. Or it's like it's going to bring you down. Okay, a lot of disappointments that I'm seeing here. And uh, it seems like... It seems like, you know, since that your conscience is going to be nudging you down. Or nudging you. Or will try to make you feel guilty about the situation. You're going to try to call back or communicate with this person. And it seems like you're the one who's going to be offering like, okay, what is it that you want me to do again? Okay, more likely a favor. So, I mean, it's going to take some time before you could realize that this person really is asking for your help. Or really needed your help. So instead of turning them down, you know, like the second time, you're going to try to do your best. Okay, but still your guard will be up and you're going to start thinking like maybe this person is playing me or just playing around or just trying to test me or something like that. But I feel like you should stop thinking about that. Okay. Yeah, there are some... Whatever this, uh, whatever your connection is with this water sign and fire sign... And probably somebody who's already a mother figure or someone who's older than you. This um, Aries or Gemini person. This three, your connection with them is already over. Okay. Probably a mother figure. Probably a friend. Probably, you, you, you know, um, sister figure. Okay. Siblings, cousins, relatives. Your connection with them is already done because of their bad influence. All right, when it comes to your finances, Hermit, wow. All right, some of you will be moving to a new place, new house, new company, or a new office. And you've been wondering, if um, wherever you are right now, is this really where you're going to be staying? Or should you be moving to a whole new different level, a whole new different field? Until that you're going to be hearing from a company or probably getting an offer unexpectedly from probably like an old application. Okay, they're going to be asking you if you're still interested. And the first thing that you're going to start thinking is that you really need this and probably that this is the sign. So some of you will end up leaving your current employment to move to a brand new place or to move to a brand new horizon. Some of you will also be accepting a new role or a new department, new team, or a new project. Okay, whichever, this will be bringing you more financial stability. For those of you who's actually stuck in a medical field, you will be merging into a whole new different field because your health has been your health is being compromised and you feel like the pay is not even that worthy okay 
Singles. Singles, you need to wait for the right time. You are... It's like you're tricking or you're playing tricks with yourself. Okay, or you're probably... You know that there's a, pe there's a period that you have to wait and you're cheating on this. There is someone who's an heiress that you're going to be meeting. But you're still stuck with this person from the past, which is probably another water sign. Okay. This is someone that you know is your real soulmate. Now, there is one who's an Aries older than you, probably your boss, or probably somebody that you're working with but has a higher position. This person... Um, this person will only be in your life for a lesson to learn. I don't feel like this is going to be for a long-term relationship, but definitely this period of Leo, you're going to start having all awakenings, okay? Probably some lessons to learn when it comes to love, especially if you've been avoiding being in a um, stable relationship, okay? Some of you will also be meeting someone who's an earth sign. And this is the one that you're perfectly matched with. Okay. You're just too afraid to love. That's the problem. Because you're probably just thinking that, you know, all the people that you will be meeting or all the people that you're going to be um, associating yourself with, They'll only be using you for money. Actually, it's not. Okay. We are, you know, we all got down and broken in the past. But if you would just use that as an excuse not to heal yourself and not to cure yourself and just an excuse to hurt other people again, it's not really valid. Anyway, you're going to be meeting that person at the time of the year. Okay. Let's take a look now. Couples. Both of you are being defensive. Um, could be it's your person, could be it's you. The other person is so defensive when it comes to their finances. The other is so defensive when it comes to their emotions. Yeah. All right. Cancer couples. Cancer, you're thinking that your person is having someone else. That's why they've been acting so indifferent, cold and distant, very mean and cruel sometimes. They've been like, you know, like criticizing you from head to foot. But there is something that you're not really seeing. Number one, your communications are not that compatible. Okay, whenever you talk, it always ends up or boils down into an argument or to like... Uh, very bad, uh, what do you call this, um, criticism, okay? Both of you are financially established. I don't, I just don't really feel like, you know, but probably, you know, you're the one who has more. And your person is also being defensive since that they feel like that you might be either after this or they are the one who's only after whatever you have so they are being defensive right now um i don't feel like there's someone else let's get a clarification because this is your main concern no but your person wants to move to a new house or wants to buy their own house your person really wants to do this you know this whole separation thing it could be that uh, I just feel like you're 
it's not even balanced okay probably that you're the one who love your person the most and your person is like just so and so okay um i'm seeing a heartbreak down the horizon okay mm, you need to talk if you really want to do this your person is like very paranoid and very touchy or sensitive when you know when it comes to like certain matters they easily fold and you know and uh, sulk which is i feel like really childish you know if you have some differences you need to talk because both of you are not really talking your person wants to talk to you you also want to talk to your person but every time that you talk it you you both crash and you both like fail to express how you truly feel towards each other without even you know, the, ins the, the insults or like, you know, like the bickering and bantering. I mean, let's see if they, do they, do you still want to work it out? Your person is too combative. I mean, even if you would try to make, even if you would try to fix this. But if they have their own issues, you know, I don't feel like this is going anywhere. At this point, I feel like it's much better for you to go in your own corners. There's nothing that you can do. If you're, you know, if your person is like this and their mind is too fixed, then just let them be. Because the more you try to stop them, the more they will just try to create some dramas. Anyway, let's take a look now at your health. Be careful with parasitic infection, okay? I feel like you can get this directly from the food, especially fish or pork, all right? Just be careful with that. Um, you might also have a hard time breathing, pulmonary problems or bronchial problems, and it's time for you to go and visit the dentist. Some of you might also have some skin allergies or skin blemishes or skin issues. You also need to um rehydrate okay some of you the reason why you're feeling so lethargic is because you're dehydrated and you need to be careful in swimming near the water there's actually an upcoming storm wherever you are right now so please be careful in going near the water okay and um you might need to pay attention to your animals there are some animal signs if there is a danger upcoming or some of them um, if you have a dog, actually any fur animal, you need to pay attention to their behavior. If they're feeling so lethargic, always sleeping, they're not as playful as they used to be. Yeah, you need to take them to the doctor because there's something in their stomach that they have swallowed and they're having a hard time all day breathing or they cannot even eat. <clears throat> okay. Your ideas, check out your sign in your third house, short-term thinking and trips. And communicate, you have to learn how to communicate during the time of Mercury, or Mercury retrograde, it's coming real soon. And analyze, if this will also open up your, because your communication is actually, um, probably check out, uh, I know that there's a placement of, for communication. And uh, you know have you have a mercury there. Okay, learn how to um, practice your art of communication because you're not. I mean, you're artic articulate, but sometimes wrong words get in the way. Okay, 
your feelings and attitudes from the past in cancer and immediately the way you project yourself check out your first house okay the sign in your first house you need to check it immediately how you project yourself and you have to do it on your own Okay, your dream walker. Dreams, collective, good, and illusions. You have to pay attention to your dreams. Okay, you also you will also start hearing from your from your um, from your spirit guides about the questions that you have in your mind. You know, especially if you're starting to feel lost. And the river queen flow and letting go, natural movement. Like what I said. If, you know, for those of you who's going through a separation, if your person is acting like that, then just let them be, okay? Because the more you try to stop them, the more they'll just uh, try to throw tantrums and traumas. And the queen of the light, illumination, enlightenment, and celebration, you will be awakened and there will be an illumination to where you should be going and your, for your next life purpose. And if you want to talk to me, live in the phone, live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website, sfangel.net. You may also chat with me directly at my Instagram at Sophia Claire Angel or join me at my Patreon, which you can find the link down there below. All right, blessings to you.